Hello everybody, Decepticon Doug here and we are at the Vancouver Retro Gaming Expo here in New Westminster on Columbia Street at the Anvil Center. So let's go inside and take a look at what's going on. There have been many versions of Loadrunner, but this one 
I actually really like it. I think it's stylistically it kind of holds up. a lot of fun. Uh, did you have a lot of fun, Scarlett? Yes. Excellent. Um, so uh, we were going to show off some of our pickups, some of the things that we found at the store uh, or the various stores. What do you got? I got mostly Pokemon stuff. Pokemon stuff. Like a sticker. Yep. And a lot of Pokemon cards. And this Lucario. What does Lucario do? Um, in this card he does Missile Jack. Jab and corkscrew smash and something else. Somersault kick. Yes. Somersault kick. Cool. Yes. Those are all things that make sense to me. And then this bath bomb. But I don't know what's inside the bath bomb because there's a little Pokemon hiding in here. Ah, clever, clever. Cool. That's everything? It's cool. Uh, I got myself copy of Donkey Kong 64. This is one that we grew up with. I, did, I can't remember, did we get the, the, the N64 that came with Donkey Kong 64? I believe so. Or, or was it the one that came with Pod Racer? Because I know we had both those games. Uh, okay, well, we don't know. The ones we had Donkey Kong 64, uh, the, the copy we grew up with, I believe, is in Uncle Daniel's. He has that one. So now I have mine. Also, uh, Super Smash TV which is a really fun uh, um, arcade port for the Super Nintendo. And uh, that was one that I uh, actually got for my friend Paul a little while ago. And now I have my own copy. I wasn't expecting to see much in the way of movies, but the uh, Leprechaun Pot of Gore collection, it is all six Leprechaun films. I didn't even know there were six, um, but that's uh, Warwick Davis. Um, as a leprechaun, and uh, he kills people. Funny little movie. I mean, you know me, it might be movies. Um, <gasps> oh my god. I got uh, more Disney Adventures, it's like, just like I got like last year, or another five. Dennis the Menace, Candace Cameron, uh, Rick Moranis, Joey Lawrence, the heartthrob of what? what? Was it Blossom? I don't know. Some show like that. And uh, Tim Allen. So uh, eventually, we'll have some episodes of that uh, of our Disney Adventure read-throughs of these. You know, whenever that happens. <laughs> um, this is the big win of the day: is uh, <gasps> Paper Mario: The Thousand Year Door. I love Paper Mario. I have been trying to find a good deal on this because this this one's gotten really expensive. So I was trying to find the best possible deal here, and I thought I found it, but then I just did a round right now, and suddenly. One store has their everything off half price, and I'm like, well. And uh, I just grabbed this Super Mario World uh, Nintendo Power magazine, because uh, I have a few of these and they're fun to look through, even though I'm pretty sure I know every single secret there is in Super Mario World. It's just, it's just cool to reminisce. And also there's other games like Star Wars and Final Fantasy Adventure, which I guess are probably NES games. So yeah, all in all, I think I got, I got uh, I think I got some good deals. So I entered the Mario Kart Double Dash Tournament, 
I did make it to the second round. Um, unfortunately, I did not survive. Uh, the, the, there was too many bombs dropped in front of me for that uh, second round. I thought I could have done well, but alas, I did not. But it was fun. Scarlett and Steve and I, uh, we all did the uh, Super Smash Bros. Melee tournament. Scarlett won. She beat everybody. <laughs> Who did you play? Kirby. Kirby, yeah. We were all playing together in the first round, and, and uh, unfortunately Scarlett did get knocked out in the first round. Uh, I got knocked out in the second round, as did Steve. There's two guys who are playing Fox. They were both playing Fox, and uh, let's just say I got outfoxed. For a while, thought I could have gotten them, but uh, they, unfortunately, uh, I died. Uh, but you know, I think actually that's the best I've done in the tournaments at the Retro Gaming Expo so far, so. Usually I just lose. What did we play in the room there? Uh, Bomberman. Bomberman. Yeah, Bomberman was super fun. Uh, I, I think Steve's hooked. He wants to find one on the Switch. He, he wants to practice to, to exact his revenge on me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I was first once. Yeah, no, you did, you did great. It's a tough game. And uh, then I accidentally killed myself in the first round. That's well, the thing about Bom Bomberman, is that you always accidentally kill yourself at some point. So thanks everybody for watching. Let us know if you were at any, uh, if you were at the Vancouver Retro Gaming Expo, in the comments down below. Or any Retro Gaming Expo, and let me know what you thought of our pickups and everything, so. And there was tons of cosplaying. Yeah, there was lots of cosplaying. Not by me. I just wore this. And I was a Dungeons and Dragons character. All right. Is that what Dungeons and Dragons characters wear? Dungeons and Dragons shirts? Yeah. Makes sense to me. Okay. Bye. Adios.